So today's notes are a pre-lesson for 4.6, which we'll do in class on Wednesday. The topic is prime numbers and simplifying square roots. So we're going to first start by talking about some prime numbers between 1 and 100. And there is a process to figure out the prime numbers called the seed of Eratosthenes. So Eratosthenes was a mathematician and poet um, back in uh, hundreds of years before uh, BC. So what he said, uh, a way to figure these out is to cross out, begin by crossing out uh, one because it is a, it is not a prime, it's either prime or composite. And then uh, follow by noticing that two is our first prime number. understand the parts of a square root. We have the square root symbol or the radical symbol. Underneath we have the radicand and then we have a number right inside that uh, square root symbol called the index. Now when there is not a number it's assumed to be a two or square root. So the few steps we can follow. Know your perfect squares. So I've written out a list of perfect squares up through 25. Not a bad idea to have one handy. Step two is to double check to see if your radicand is a perfect square already. Step three is divide the radicand by two and check for perfect square factors. And then step four is to simplify. So we'll do a few examples. So question one, 48. When we type square roots, you type in the second and then you type in uh, the x squared symbol. You can type in your number and double check. Nope, didn't work out, not a perfect square. So next we divide by two. So 48 divided by two is 24. So we're actually gonna double check to see if any of our perfect squares less than 24, so starting this direction, to see if any of these are actually factors of our original radicand. So 16 would be the next number we could try. So we tried dividing 48 by 16. 48 divided by 16, well, you can double check your calculator. 48 divided by 16 is three. So we see a perfect square factor. So the next step is to simplify. So I can rewrite this as the square root of 16 times the square root of 3. Now we know the square root is 16, hopefully. Uh, if you don't know it, it's, you just go back here. Square root of 16, we just go in reverse, is 4. 
So we can actually simplify the square root of 16, write it as 4, and then square root of 3 stays in the radicand. Next is 24. So we try square root 24, or you just notice 24 is not a perfect square. So then we divide 24 by 2, which is 12. And then we look for perfect squares smaller than 12. So 9, 4, and 1 would be the options. We can look at 24 and check. Uh, probably hopefully know that 9 is not a factor of 24. Then the next one down would be 4. Hopefully you do recognize 4 is a factor of 24. So we can actually rewrite this. So think about 24 divided by 4 is 6. So we can rewrite this as radical 4, radical 6, right? Because 4 times 6 is 24. So our, uh, we still have the 4 and the 6. We just split them up so that we have them as perfect squares, have the perfect square factored out. So we have square root of 4 is 2, the, sticks, the 6 stays under the radical, and there's our simplified form. Next is 729. So we can type 729 into the calculator. Double check, is 729 a perfect square? And it is. So we're actually just going to write equals 27. So that's not actually in our list here, but it's good to check that first. As you can see, it worked out. Next is 294. 294, let's see, is that, we could find that in our list, but it's not there. 294 would be somewhere between 17 and 18. So we're gonna go ahead and divide 294 by two. So 294 divided by two. And you get 147. It just, this helps narrow down the number of perfect squares we need to check. So we look at our list, 147, so we all the way down here. So 121, starting with 121, and then you just guess and check. So you could do 147 divided by 121, doesn't work, 147 divided by our next perfect square, which is 100, not gonna, or sorry, not 147, uh, 294. We go back to the original. 294 divided by 121. Didn't work. 294 divided by 100. We know that's not going to work. Divided by 81. Nope. Uh, 294 divided by 64. Nope. 294 divided by 49. I'm just going up my list of perfect squares, and there it is. So 49 worked, it's a perfect square. So we're gonna rewrite this as, so 294 divided by 49 equals six. So we have, two, square root of 294 can be rewritten as the square root of 49 times the square root of six. In other words, box out our scrap work there. So square root of 49 is 7. So we can write our simplified answer as 7 square root of 6. Next one, number 5, 448. So we can try that or double check and we don't see 448 in our list of perfect squares. So we move down the list. 448. We're checking in this direction. And again, you want to go through uh, and try dividing them by 2. Sorry, 448 divided by 2. And then we can check. See, if we just started trying all of these values, there's a lot more to try. But if we cut it in half, 448 divided by 2, we get 224. And now we don't have to try from here, actually. We can just start, skip several options, and start uh, dividing 448 by 196. So we get 448 divided by 196. Did it work out? 
448 divided by 169, that's 13 squared, didn't work out. 448 divided by 144, not quite. 448 divided by 11 squared, or 121. 448 divided, not gonna divide by 100, we can tell that right away. Try to divide by 81, divide by 64, and that one worked. So now we come back and we can rewrite this as, so 448 divided by 64 equals seven. So our two factors then we can write, our square root is 64 times the square root of seven. I'm gonna come down here and finish that off. So the square root of 64 is actually, is eight. So we can write our final answer as eight radical seven. Last one, square root of 125. So 125 is not a perfect square. We can tell that from our list here. 125 would be right around here. So we can start then by uh, dividing by two and checking. So 125 divided by two. So it's 62.5. So we're actually, we would look, 62.5 would be somewhere around around here. So we only need to start looking from 49 down. So uh, we could check and see if 49 goes in, 36 goes in, turns out 25 goes into 125. So 125 divided by 25 is five. So we come back over. This can be uh, factored into uh, 125 and five. So sometimes I just do it a shorthand way can I write it as a, uh, just the two factors? And that's gonna be square root of what, sorry, square root of 25. So the square root of 25 is five, square root of five.